A teenager's suicide is prompting her family to seek answers tonight and try to help others learn from what happened. Emily Folks graduated from Premier Charter School and planned to enter Lamar University for the spring semester. But before if any of that could happen, the 18-year-old recently committed suicide. KFDM reporter Justin Hinton explains her family is trying to cope and with the help of friends, honor the teen's memory. Jason Folks manages this go-kart track behind Speedway 90. It's a business, but also a passion for his family, including his son, Casey. Jason's daughter, Emily, grew up here. She's been driving since she's about six years old, so no doubt she was going to be good. Jason's dreams for his daughter and for her future ended last week. The 18-year-old committed suicide. She just had a lot of uh, hurt inside of her that she kept in for a long time, and I guess it just just hit her. I don't know. Emily's mom, dad, and brother are all searching for answers, trying to figure out if there were warning signs, indicators that could help other families. Get involved as much as you can in their life and know exactly what's going on with them because, you know, she had a way of hiding it that nobody knew. Family photos capture happier times, a time before Emily's suicide. It's sad to know there's hurt behind those eyes and that smile. I, I, didn't, know it was, I didn't know it was like that. This is her crying tree. Emily's drawings provide insight into her creative mind. There's something her family can always hold on to, a family trying to create a legacy while hoping something better can come from her death. Starting on the track with the first Emily Folks Memorial Race, co-workers came up with the idea for the Sunday benefit to help the family. Jason plans to use some of the money to set up a scholarship in honor of Emily. Yeah, I like that. She knows I loved her, and I know she loves us. In Beaumont, Justin Hinton, KFDM 6 News. Jason wants to set up the scholarship fund at Hardin Jefferson, where Emily spent the majority of her high school career. The benefit on Sunday starts at noon. Racing should begin about 2.30. If you or someone you know has suicidal thoughts, call the Rape and Suicide Crisis Center of Southeast Texas at 409-835-3355.